Hello, brothers and sisters, um, and anyone that's watching, really. I wanted to share a dream that I had um, December 1st, uh, 2021, and it was really first thing in the morning. Um, I had woke up a little earlier than um, everybody, and I came out here to the couch, and I just kind of reclined back, was spending some time in the Lord, and as I was praying, I drifted off, um, and I began this dream. But it wasn't like any dream. It was actually a dream within a dream. And then I woke up from that dream inside of my dream. And then I had another dream to continue that. So if that makes any sense to you, I hope it does. <laughs> so I will go ahead and begin telling you about my dream. Um, so I had fallen asleep. And when I woke up in this dream, I uh, felt like I was at home. And... Um, I just felt like an ordinary day. I had this feeling I needed to go and take my shower. And so I felt like it was morning time and I was still in my robe and I'm going from one room to the next. So literally between the living room and the dining room area where the kitchen is. And um, all of a sudden I felt this urgency to fall on my knees and on my face and start praying to God. And so I did that. And all of a sudden I felt like I fell asleep um, within this dream and I started dreaming. Um, I woke up and I was in the same house. Now, to me, it wasn't my home. It was actually a friend of mine's and she was running a daycare out of it in that day or whenever. Like it was just a normal day for her and I was there and so I'm talking to people I'm chatting I'm there's some people that I know that are there there's some people I've never known um I've never actually seen or met in my life but they seem like very real people and I'm having conversations with them and I literally just felt um fine like there was nothing out of the ordinary and it just kind of struck me after I woke up that it was really weird that seemed normal to me but then I was drawn to the door. So I go to the doorway and I'm greeting everybody. There's a bunch of people out in the yard and they're coming through a fence. Um, and the, the clouds, it, um, it was, I looked up the sky and it seemed like a beautiful day beyond where we were. And for some reason there was this ominous gray cloud that was hanging out above the house and it was pretty big. And so I was getting a little concerned because I knew that we had kind of, you know, I figured we live in the Northwest, so it could just be a rain cloud. It looked like a storm cloud to me, um, but it didn't seem too out of the ordinary. And um, all of a sudden I look up at this cloud and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, okay. And I'm sort of in a panic and I see all these people that I know I'm like, okay guys, come on, let's all get inside, you know? And um, I just, all of a sudden felt this feeling of just normalcy until I looked up at this gray cloud and it opened up. And when it opened up, there was this arc and it looked like Noah's Ark. It was huge and it was coming out of the clouds and I just freaked out. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what is that? And then all of a sudden I see Jesus on a white horse standing at the very tip of the ark and the angels are just kind of tapered on either side of him. And I just dropped to my knees and then I woke up from that dream. I wasn't raptured, uh, nothing happened out of the ordinary. I just felt overwhelmed because I was shouting, oh my gosh, it's Jesus, you guys. I knew, I was like, he's here. And literally from the moment I woke up from that dream, I woke back up into the other dream. And all of a sudden, there's all these people in my house. I'm still in my robe. <laughs> I'm telling them, you guys, Jesus is here. He's here. He's coming. Um, I saw him. I saw Jesus. And I'm telling everyone. And my husband's there. And I'm, I'm looking at them. And I'm just overwhelmed. I'm so excited. I'm telling them, look, he's here. He's here. He's here. And they're looking at me like, uh, okay, are you all right? Because are you in the same reality that we're in right now? And so they all were trying to calm me down. And because I was just, 
I mean, I was shaking. I was so overwhelmed, and just excited though, but also frightened, you know. And um, I, I wanted to tell everybody. And um, so they sat me down on the couch and there was a friend um, who I actually didn't know, but her name was Sue, apparently. And um, she was holding this like incense bowl. It was a, a rectangular shaped bowl and it was divided down the middle. There were like these purple colored pebbles you know, those little gel incense type things you see at the store. Um, and then on the other side, it was purple water. And so I don't know the significance of that. I'm not an interpre interpreter. I don't know about dreams or what that had, that had any meaning. But she basically handed me the bowl and then told me to wait. Don't tell everybody what I saw in my dream. And then she walked out of the room and then I instantly woke up from that. So... I honestly don't even know. I didn't get the chance to tell them what had happened. The last memory I had was my husband. When I'm holding that bowl, he looks over at me with like deep concern. And um, I think they thought I was crazy, but <laughs> um, I just, I was so excited to tell them, but I didn't get the opportunity. And so I'm not sure what that meant. I just know that my daughter had woke up and I'm on the couch. And so she woke me up from that dream. And so I didn't really get the opportunity to tell them um, that I saw Jesus and that he's coming and he's here. Now oh, this was 7.30, I think I had this dream. Um, and so I don't even know what time I woke up, but seemed like pretty quick um where it drifted i don't know the significance of all the meaning i have had other dreams in the past um i've had a dream about um a tidal wave and florida coming um and there's this parking garage and we're all rushing to get inside because that was the only safe place to go was the top floor of the parking garage and the water still got in there so I don't know. I just knew that I was in Florida. Uh, I mean, I've just had all of these strange dreams over the past six or eight years um, since I've really turned away from the world and been trying to chase after God. And um, and he literally has been pursuing me. Um, now I haven't shared my testimony and I haven't really shared a lot of um, these types of dreams before. Um, and so God's really put it on my heart that this year is the year of his return. I don't know the day or the hour. I don't know if that's true. I just feel it in my spirit. And, you know, I actually thought it was going to be this last year, but I really think that God is giving us more time to get not only ourselves in order, um, because he's coming back for a spotless bride. And, um, I don't know. I just had to share that because there's such an urgency in my spirit there's something that's going to happen this year. 2022 is meant for us as Christians, people who know Jesus, to truly start to love our neighbor. Those that don't know Christ, really talking about Jesus, coming out. Those who have been in hiding for a long time and have been kind of being purged, being um, put through the fire, essentially, to purify and to become stronger in your faith to come out more and to talk about Jesus more and to share your testimony and your stories and things um, because we really need to be sharing the truth and the love of Jesus Christ right now. There's such an urgency in my spirit. I just know um, that I know that he's coming back way sooner than we all think. And um, there are a lot of friends and family that I, you know, that are Christian and they don't necessarily think that that's the case. And it's unfortunate. Um, anybody that is really, truly a follower of Jesus Christ should know the day and the hour in which we're living in right now. And I think everyone in their spirit knows, um, to some extent where we are. And so I just wanted to share that. And I also wanted to encourage any of you out there who know Jesus who follow, who love him and obey him and just want to please him. Don't be afraid. Don't ever fear anything in this world because it's all temporary. We are just gifts 
from God and, you know, not necessarily me or any other Christian, so to speak, but truly, um, when you have eyes that can see and ears that can hear and you have discernment in your spirit and you know, you know that you know that you know that Jesus is very real. He is a gift. And so we are that gift to share that with others and love on them because they need Jesus too. And so I just wanted to encourage any of you, if you have any doubts, any fears, don't be afraid. Go forth. We need to do that. This year is the year to really bring home all those who are lost and set the captives free through the blessing and the blood of Jesus Christ and the shed of what he did on the cross. And he died and rose again in three days. And he lives today. And he still is looking for a spotless bride and people to come back to him, to know him. And it's never too late. I mean, as long as you're still breathing, you have an opportunity, you have a chance, you have a blessing to share your faith and your love of Jesus Christ before he comes back for us. This is the year, you guys. So I just pray that this blesses you. I pray that your day is blessed. Um, love you all and take care.